Hi there, art friends. Coming to you from the art room. Today, I'm gonna show you how to use watercolor paint to make a value scale. So value means light to dark. So we're gonna make three values, light, medium, and dark. So you need, of course, your watercolor paint, you need water, you need a paper towel to wipe your brush on, a brush, and then hopefully I have this ready for you, your cardboard and your paper that is taped down. It just makes it easier for you. So of course to start, I'm going to get my brush wet. I'm gonna choose which color I wanna use. Ooh, and I'll tell you darker colors are gonna work better. I'm gonna use green just for fun. So I wake up the paint, hello paint, time to go to work. So I'm gonna start with my first value, which is going to be my lightest. That means I need more water, less paint. More water, I did not wipe it on my paper towel. Now I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna paint just like a little maybe rectangle. Okay, voila, it is very light. If it's a little too dark, I can dry my brush a little bit and then take some of it off. It's kind of cool. You can take off the watercolor paint. Okay, so that's number one, lightest. Now I need to try to do a medium. So I might want to dry my brush a little bit, so I'm going to get more paint and less water. And then I just paint another rectangle. And I decide, hmm, is that dark enough? I don't know, let me add a little bit more. I can always add more or even take it away if I want. Okay, I'm gonna leave that, actually I'll take a little bit off, a little bit off. And now the last one, I'm gonna need a lot of paint. So I dried my brush. Now I'm just gonna twirl my brush. I never stamp it down, I twirl it. It's a dancer brush. And then I'm going to, again, paint another rectangle. So from middle to darkest, I would say is a, the tricky part, but you can do it. So you might just have to dip in your paint to give a little bit more value. Okay, voila, light, medium, dark. Yeah, just a little bit more. Your challenge would be to try to paint a shape that then becomes 3D using the value, like my circle right here, okay? All right, good luck, have fun.